Welcome and thanks for taking a tour of ArcServe Unified Data Protection version 6. In this video we will take a look at the Instant Virtual Machine feature in UDP. First let's start in the All Notes section in the UDP console. Choose a machine that we wish to perform Instant Virtual Machine on. Go up to Actions and select Create an Instant VM. The Instant VM wizard will take us through four easy steps to start the Instant VM beginning with choosing which backup we wish to use as our source. We'll choose our latest, select Next. Then we will specify the host, whether it's VMware or Hyper-V. With Hyper-V, we'll select our Hyper-V system, select Next. Hyper-V requires the host to be running Windows 2008 R2 or later, and the UDP agent should be installed and managed by the console. Let's take a look at vSphere. Let's choose our vSphere server, select Next. With vSphere, we will specify the recovery server, which can be the recovery point server or a machine with the UDP agent installed and managed by the current console. A tip here would be to consider the resources available, and if you do choose the recovery point server, what resources are available during backups, as this could affect the performance of the instant virtual machine. Let's select the console. Select Next. The final step is to provide our virtual machine settings. The VM name, a prefix is given to identify the machine as an instant virtual machine and you can edit this. Let's give it a description. We'll point to a folder on the recovery server where changes will be cached. This can be a folder that's already created or we can create a folder. Let's select this folder, select OK. Let's specify the resources the CPU and memory that we wish to dedicate to the instant virtual machine, the network settings, we can add an adapter, which adapter type, which VM network, and do we wish to change the IP information on the machine. Let's go with the default, select OK. Click Finish. We're given the option to either boot the virtual machine now or boot it later. We'll select Boot Now. We will see in UDP, under Instant Virtual Machines, the machine is listed. Let's take a look at vCenter. Here's our virtual machine. Let's open a console. And watch it start up. While we're waiting for the machine to start, here's some other things to consider. The NFS role must be enabled on the recovery server. Available resources on the recovery server will affect the performance. And networking could also affect the performance as well. Best practices here would be to test Instant VM with your regular DR testing procedures so you can be best prepared for any performance hits during use and the restore procedures once you're done using the Instant VM. Now our virtual machine is running, all we need to do is log in and start using the machine. Any changes will be cached in the folder that we designated during the configuration. This concludes our tour of ArcServe Unified Data Protection version 6 Instant Virtual Machine. We saw how to select the recovery point and start up the Instant Virtual Machine. We will have additional videos covering adding tasks and features like the new gateway, plus a set of videos for Linux backup and instant bare metal recovery. Thank you. For more detailed information, please review the content on ArcServe.com or you can contact and chat with an ArcServe sales representative.